Hello guys, welcome back. Sim UK here. Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail. I'm running the beta, I forgot to tell you. I started running the beta uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, so some of the things that I'm seeing here you may not have in your game yet, but you will do eventually. And um, I'm already seeing positive uh, options arriving, etc. Right, let's skip on to the next stage and see where we're at. Oh, Savannah's back. The final frontier. A distress call from General Augustine Prevost, a commander of our base in Savannah, has found you while patrolling the coast of Georgia. Rebel army and militia forces are on their way to attack Savannah. Prevost's main force has pass joined an invading British army, currently involved in engagements near the border of South and North Carolina. He is begging with you to sail to Savannah to assist with the defence of the city. The general seems to have been caught unprepared and the fall of the city to the rebels seems almost certain. You have no choice but to set course for Savannah. Okay. Okay. So on the Blackpool, we have some mortars at last. Uh, elite Grenadiers. Originally, Grenadiers were specialised soldiers, first established a distinct role in the mid-17th century for throwing grenades. A Grenadier candidate should be a tall, physically strong, disciplined man. Some education was a plus, using a grenade was an advanced technical skill at that time. Because of these reasons, the Grenadiers of the 18th century became elite troops, frequently leading the assault in offensive operations. Grenadiers were usually part of an infantry company, but were often detached and massed together for maximum effect in the battlefield. Thomas Bloomfield became Inspector of Artillery in 1780. His department carried out a general reproof of ordnance. He rejected nearly half of them, began to cast iron guns of his own design. The breach was more rounded than contemporary designs. An added ring to the cast cable allowed for free movement of the breech ropes that caused that used to restrict the gun's recoil aboard a ship. They were longer, lighter, and overall just quite good to use. The Royal Navy has about 1,000 ships with 30,000 guns and have begun a slow retrofit that is expected to last until 1790. The origin of the Congreve gun lay in a letter from Admiral Hope, one of the Lord's Commissioners of the Admiralty, to William Congreve, the younger in January 1813. With it, he enclosed the accounts of a practice that had demonstrated the light 24-pounder of a 6.5 foot and 3,300 weight was in inadequate to, fire, to be fired double-shotted, a common naval tactic in close combat. Hope suggested that Congreve consider whether it might not be possible to construct 24-pounders considerably lighter than the long 24-pounders and which might still be of sufficient weight to be capable of firing two shots. A few days later, Congreve sent the Admiral his plan of a radically designed 24-pounder gun of 7.5 feet and 4,100 weight. Okay, so we've got the Grenadiers here. The EIC standard carronade range was a little less than otherwise customary. Yeah, we've done this one. Okay, so. Hmm. Boarding equipment too. That's expensive. Oh. Considering we haven't really done or made any upgrades at all, I think we've done a pretty good job. Boost the speed slightly. It says here cannons wait. There's no cannons on this ship. Okay, so you have to buy boarding equipment. Hmm. <sighs> what can we do with La Palmier? expensive whatever I do uh, let's go for maximum crew we can't do that because we'll be overloaded let's get a couple more on at least 
Uh, let's see what we can do here. Early copper sheathing. Bit of extra speed. Oh, that'll push the weight too high. What about if I... Use lightweight gun carriages. Ha ha ha. Oh. Uh, not quite. Very close though. Not quite. Um, mm -hmm. Blast. We're like 60 weight over. So that's let me do that. Is that a hack? Or does it just mean that the ship is going to be overweight and it's going to be very difficult to steer? Oh, it won't let me do it because it's overloaded. Okay. I thought maybe I'd um, stumbled across a little hack there. Okay. We'll just get rid of a few men. Bring ourselves underweight. We definitely need a few more men here. Go to the reserves. Upgrade that. Okay. So it looks like we can actually squeeze a few more people on here. Oh, they're at maximum. I need a second ship, really, but there's no chance of getting one now. All right. It's a land battle that's going to be a nightmare. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Okay, slight problem. We need to have one more ship. Huh. I say slight problem, by which I mean huge problem. What can we do here? Can't I just start with three ships and steal one? So I'm going to have to try and skip this. 90,000 for completing this. Ah, uh, so bad. Okay, so if I send a couple of ships to protect them here and then go to next stage. Silver Smoke. Captain, I'm happy to inform you of the full success of our small enterprise. I hope you are pleased by our client's generosity. Have a pleasant day. Oswald Bender Esquire. 22,000 in money. Okay, good. But, uh, the final frontier. Unexpected. After Cornwallis's surrender at Yorktown, it's just not worth the cost to send another army to subdue the American colonies. With the French monarchy overthrown, the mob pretending to rule and the aristocrats being executed, 
We must turn our attention to the continent. England is the only nation that can ensure that law and order will return to Europe. We must support the French royalists in their fight against the new French Republic as we once fought with rebels in America. If we do not stop its spread now, then the poison of revolution will destroy it all, all it touches. As thanks for your commendable service in the colonies, I will do my best to assist you in preparing for your new assignment in the Mediterranean. I can either secure you a shipment of high quality muskets or write a recommendation to the Admiralty to help improve your reputation. Let's go for the muskets. Now what's this? 30% ship repair cost increase. Ouch. Fantastic. The execution of Marie Antoinette. After a short trial by a revolutionary tri tribunal, Mary Antoinette was convicted of high treason and sentenced to death on October 16, 1793. The Queen of France was executed by guillotine like a common criminal. Our shipyards are now working around the clock to bring our fleet back in fighting trim to prevent this madness from spreading. The promising young naval commander Horatio Nelson will be taking on a major role in the upcoming Mediterranean campaign. As the lone bright spot in the war against the American colonies, he will surely turn the tide of war in our favor. So it looks like we've progressed onto the American now. We are unable to embark on our ships. Then they tried to flee from Toulon using any transport available. There are currently dozens of boats sailing in the open. The exhausted passengers will have no chance to reach any safe destination due to the high probability of meeting a revolutionary ship. I beg you to send any available ships to rescue as many of those poor souls as possible. Okay. What's the what's the siege of Toulon? On June second, seventeen ninety three, the Royalists of Toulon revolted. Supported by an Anglo Spanish force, they hoisted the royal flag, the Fleur de Lys, and declared the Louis the tenth, fifteen seventeenth, King of France. The French Republicans responded by laying siege to the town. After almost three months, the defenders defenders were exhausted and it was decided to evacuate the city. You've been ordered to take part in the evacuation with your ships to save as many souls as possible. Okay. So let's begin with this. Let's begin with this, and then we can contemplate sending some ships to that other mission. I need to get more cash in, I need to get more research done. The Blackpool needs crew. Ah, that's why that's not available. He repairs. An upgrade as well. Nice. We go for the full upgrade. Now, I've got 42,000 available. I think it's time we brought in some more ships. HMS Rise, a third-rate Ardent class ship of the line. Very, very tempting. Uh, but we're like 400 short. Uh, which is a bit of a shame. So maybe we'll hold on to our cash and do it in the next turn. Kind of makes sense to me. Right, where are we going here? Can I... Can I maybe get... HMS Walpole? She's actually a 6.5 speed. She's quite fast. Are these identical? They look identical. HMS Old Portsmouth. 
is actually a little faster. 23,000 though. Which may even have some cannons. Let's go for that. Oh. Uh... Supply amount. What's this? Oh, I see. Right. So if I add the supply amount people. So we've got mortars. We've got marines and we've got the supply people. Okay, so let's give them a rank up. We'll go for just 50 soldiers. We'll have a small supply. I'm going to rank these guys up. What does this do? 5% efficiency plus 50 ammo. Well, that's got to be done. I'm not even going to look at the other ones. Okay, so we'll make them 100 men. In fact, they're so cheap, look, 200. Let's go max. Okay, that suddenly gets very expensive. Let's go 125. We'll max these gentlemen out. Discipline training. We'll apply that. Uh, I've just had a whole bunch of um, muskets delivered. Were they delivered to the shop or delivered to me? I think they went to the shop. Oh no, here we go. Nice. Right, so we've got high class C server 78 inch musket and sword bayonet combos. That means we can actually get some melee attacks going on and not get our asses kicked, hopefully. Uh, needs crew, it says. Why do we need crew? So I'm going to go with... Uh Griffith Guthrie. I think that makes sense. So we're not overweight. Still telling me we need crew. Alright, let's put... Uh So we need an all-round good guy here, and I think that's it. Oh man, that's expensive. Right, we'll go 175. Need a good officer. He'll do for now. Swap that out. Sea service muskets. Need a captain. He looks pretty decent, actually. They're telling me they need crew, right? Optimal crew. Maximum crew. I uh, didn't have this. Okay. Yeah, I get it. All right, I think we're there finally. So we've got uh, quite a few men. Can I squeeze any more on the old Portsmouth? Are these a lot cheaper? So I can get 150, the upgraded.
Right, that's that's the most amount of men that we've had at any time since we started these campaigns. So I think we're ready. Let's go. Oh, wow. While you were preparing the plans for the evacuation, new orders arrived. The French are gathering their strength to the southwest and seem to be prepared for an attack on the fortified positions of the so-called Little Gibraltar. If the French succeed, then they will control the entrance of the bay and all the planning for the evacuation will become useless. It would be a disaster to be trapped in the harbour. You need to take command of the defence of Little Gibraltar and land your men and reinforce the exhausted defenders. You must hold these positions at any cost until the Allied ships sail out of the harbour. Wow, this, this, this is very exciting. I'm very excited by this. Uh, I'm guessing here? Or maybe here? Could be here. Let's just try this. Captain, the situation on the field has changed along with your orders. You are no longer needed to assist with the evacuation. What? The northwest front has been quiet in the last few hours, but the French activity has rapidly increased in the southwest. The French have brought several pieces of artillery and infantry for a heavy assault on Little Gibraltar. That's very bad. If the rebels prevail, then they will be able to set up their guns on the hill overlooking the harbour. You need to buy time for the Allied ships to set sail. Make haste, Captain. Land your men and join the defenders of Little Gibraltar. Right, so we could come in from the side. We could come in from this side. I'm preferring this side considerably. HMS Old Portsmouth, get yourself on the go, me old, me old girl. I'm wondering, actually, if Le Palmier... come down the other side she's going to struggle to get out there though isn't she thinking she could offer some significant cannon fire we've got one supply unit here that's not our supply unit is it HMS Old Portsmouth no Oops. Our supply is still on here, so I think probably I need to bring the supply up here. And supply the guns. So we do have some guns. So if I focus on their guns. If I 100% prioritise one of their artillery options. And maybe, just maybe, we can come in, take these units out, and get that cannon, followed by that cannon, and push our way round. The hell of an ask. Officer Cadet Hingo Inglis is killed. Oh gosh. Not the best start in the world. So we got them down to 33. Keep going, lads. The less of them there are the more chance we have. Doing pretty good there, actually. Dead into the wind. She's not going to be able to do that. She's going to have to come. She's going to have to tack it. Oh my god. You idiots. <laughs> Destroyed part of my sails by sailing into it like that. Okay, HMS Old Portsmouth. Bring yourself down here, girl. Now, these guys have got no cannons, so... I'm going to need you to stop being an awkward little sod and get over here quickly. 
Such a small little ship, I didn't even notice you were there. Alright, let's try and fix that little mistake -io. How are we doing? Yes, we've taken them out. Right, cannons. Focus on the next cannon, please. Because if we can take their cannons out, we've got a hell of a chance of surviving this. Stand your ground, men. Stand your ground. It's going to be a little while until, uh, until the troops arrive, so just bear that in mind, please. Gosh, there's a lot of people coming, aren't there? Right, Blackpool. You can come here. Of the shallows. Okay, good. Okay, that's good. It's all good. How are you doing, cannons? Kind of working our magic over there, look. So that's one cannon destroyed, nearly two cannons destroyed. Should I be focusing on these nasty little approaches though? if we're going to even get there in time. It's taking so blooming long. Look at that. They're overpowering us already. Good lord. Perhaps it would have been quicker to walk there. So we've been completely overthrown then.
Crikey. Very difficult situation then. Well, that's not, that's not what we wanted. My cannons are not even reaching the target. Cannot appear to get over the hill. Hey Marines, it's all down to you, I'm afraid. I thought we had a lot of men, but I don't feel like we do now. They can't seem to they can't seem to get their angles right, can they? Mortars! Start firing at these guys. Lickety split. Right, so he's got some range there now. But only whilst he's sailing, it seems. The mortars are going in. Hey, that's pretty good. The mortars are not not doing too bad at all. Try and take out these cannons. No, I want you to stay there. I had another load of cannons somewhere. That's good. Let's keep that cannon fire going in. We'll accept that. I think we need to get away from our own cannons there.
So those cannons are actually destroyed. Try and march those guys around there. Probably should have sent my mortars with these guys. Could have done a lot more damage at distance then. There's a lesson learnt. Well, according to this, we have uh, This is impossible. Impossible. Well, so far they seem to just be standing there, which is not terrible. Actually, can you get your guns on that artillery? that in your range. Yeah, keep it there. In fact, if we aim the chasseurs at the back... I'm not sure what the French are doing there. Just allowing us through, which is odd, but fine. So, there are some cannon fire hits coming in. Kind of feel like they're shooting their own men or something here. Let's aim there, because there's more people in a group. Let's get this cannon up here as well. And if it's going to give them line of sight, I don't mind moving anybody. This line of sight thing doesn't really work very well. Weird. How did that happen? Ready, ready. Very well disciplined. <laughs> so if we can decimate just a few of these. And that would be that would be tremendous. Oh, 
There's an awful lot of them, isn't there? Right, so they're routing. That's a good start. Now, we want these cannons. That's going to give us a huge advantage. Can I get these mortars maybe on these armoury chaps? No, that, apparently that's too far. So, we're actually getting a, a little bit of success over there. Maybe I can squeeze the Flore into that position too. Oh, this is going to be it's going to be hard work. There's a lot of cannons here. We could do we could do with taking all of these. We haven't really got the numbers for it, but Maybe, maybe we've got the appetite, who knows. Can I hit here? And here. Grenadiers have been pushed back. I thought she might have a bit more intelligence than to sort of do that, but hey. Right, we'll get her out of the uh, little mess that she's got herself into, and then we'll uh, attempt to improve this situation. I need to shoot these guys. Yeah, that's not going to work. Need to protect these fusiliers. Actually, their morale's not too bad. So we've got one artillery team to, to run away. That's two.
It's just one guy. We've got some pretty good melee stuff now. No, don't rout. Is there any chance I could sail maybe there? So we have 70 marines left and that's all. Can't imagine they're going to be able to do this. Although look, we have got two. <laughs> We have got the two external areas in our favour. I guess these Royal Fusiliers could benefit from being in the trees, unless that takes them too close to these guys, in which case we're going to have problems. Let's get the mortars and everything else aiming at these guys. Do you have range to hit him? No. I don't think they have any cannons anyway. They've routed us. Okay, fine. Get the cannons on the go, please. Thank you where you are. That's absolutely fine. Hey, Caramba. Uh, can 70 Marines turn over 138 Fusiliers? That's the question we're asking today. I think they're out of ammo, so we might have a chance here actually. Because we've got control of the ammo, you see. They're taking they're all in red and they're taking an awfully long time to reload. We could have a chance there. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna move anything. I'm gonna leave it as is. So a lot of their cannons are hitting them, it looks like. This is good. Keep the cannons keep the cannons going, gentlemen. It's very nice. Got some sneaky fusiliers coming around the side. Might have to pay a bit of attention to them. Yep, 
We're going to move these guys back. We don't want any friendly fire. Cool, they're routing. I like that. How are we doing over here? Still got 70. Versus their 112. As long as they don't rush us. Then I think we've got this because they've got no ammo left. So they're just standing there getting shot because they're well trained. How can they be empty? Let's, give, let's group these guys. This is unit one. You now most of those shots are not even reaching the target. Which is most annoying, but... Some are. Come on, Flore, get yourself in position. Stop shooting at our men. Complete imbecile. Okay, down to 65 men, but I don't see any French soldiers, so let's push forward. There's a lot of fusiliers right there. So from here, we could take a few shots. Oh, look! That was red. Does that mean we've got a couple of men on cannons? I don't know what's going on there, to be honest. I kind of feel like they're stuck. But these guys clearly still have some ammo. I don't like their chances very much. Right, now, it seems like some of my men have come off of their little hill. I'm almost ready to push in and attack these guys, I really am. There you go, they've been broken. Nice. This is actually starting to work. Just chuck, chuck some fusiliers in and see how effective we can be. Good 
Cool. Looks like we're actually turning them. Mostly with the cannons off the ships. Not necessarily a bad thing. Oh wow, they're fighting hard these chaps, but there's so many Frenchies over here. I don't think they can do it. These Fusiliers are looking to push again. Morale's 38. Let's let them push back and get some... Uh, Get some morale back in them. I'm not in the least bit impressed with this guy's cannon skills. I think he's completely useless, to be honest with you. Sail round over there. Try you again in a different location. See if we can drop the chasseurs. We've only got 33 men there. I'm thinking how to stop messing about. And bring a troop of marines over here. Maybe the mortars as well. Stop these fusiliers from getting up the hill, please. I'm going to take these grenadiers as well. these Royal Fusiliers actually. So if these guys can just hold that position for a, a long period of time, then I can squeeze some numbers round. Oh my god, are you firing from there? If you are, well, I suppose that makes sense. But if you are, then get some shots in. Do not hit our men. I think we've pretty much turned them, to be honest. I can't see half of them because we don't have line of sight, but... Uh... Certainly feeling positive, although I've just spotted over here, look. An artillery unit it's pushing up, trying to get in position. If I can get hold of them quick enough, turn them over.
have them come down the hill a little bit. There's still a lot of them there, isn't there? That is a lot of Frenchmen right there. Can't sail that way, so you're gonna have to come up here and then sail back round. What are we doing here, guys? Hopefully these do, these guys don't start shooting at us. A few issues with the uh, the arrow system as it currently stands. Hey, look! Some of these cannons are actually shooting over here now. It's nice. So like they're pushing. Very slow progress over here. Right. I think we're in a position where we can actually do something. Mortars. Take position. Supply. Hold position. Grenadiers. Marines. Fusiliers. Grenadiers. Actually, the Grenadiers can come up here and the Fusiliers can sort of protect the mortars from surprise enemy attack. All I need to do is spot them. Once I spot them, I can hit them with the mortars. Once they're weakened, we can push in and take them. get ourselves slightly tighter on the position we want. I don't know what's I don't know what the problem with the anchor system is, but it just doesn't work right. We're at full sail now. We've completely gone past where we wanted to be. Should have just left it where it was. It's so difficult to get a ship in the position you want it. It's pretty true to life, to be fair. All right, let's make this work, gentlemen. Mortars, start weakening these guys.
How are we doing, mortars? I mean, by rights, these guys should have turned around and attacked us. I mean, this is highlighting an element of the game that's not too good, I guess. Okay, that's going to take a while. Fire. Try and speed things up a little bit. That's absolutely fine, right where you are. Thank you very much. your position okay mortars next target Happened there? How did you freak the Marines out like that? Chasseurs have shattered. That's nice. Going very well. It's going very well, very well indeed. Let's keep it going. Pretty soon we'll have control of this entire area and then uh, things will improve greatly. Taking some cannon fire, that's not good. Don't be such a position. I think that's what he said. Yeah, okay, he's taking quite quite heavy cannon fire at the moment. Just need to route these fusiliers and then we can move away from this very dangerous area.
Come on, one more volley and they'll be routing. We'll make these guys a unit, I think. And we'll have them... We'll have them come stand over here. Routed the sneaky little gits. Now, if you could double pace that, that would be fantastic. The grenadiers are about to uh, freak out. Okay, this is the one we want. This one was easy. The next one's going to be a little bit tougher. Hey gentlemen, if you wouldn't mind just bringing yourselves over here. Let's group these guys up. Group two. Turn these fusiliers into mud. Goodness me. Still so many of them. Right, they have actually pushed back a little bit. Actually, let's push forward up on this line. Yeah, there's still quite a few more than it looked like, aren't there? Hold your line, gentlemen. Hold your line. The port is coming. Still too many of them for us to take out, but we're working on it.
<sighs> patient gain, patient gain. As soon as we step out from this little dip in the hill, their cannons are going to light us up. So there needs to be literally no uh, enemy forces in sight at that moment in time. They need to be gone, completely gone. Routing is not enough. Routing is not enough, but routing will have to do because we've got other things to do. see them you can but you're a terrible shot okay understood let's go for the biggest lot then let's go for the 200 units there they might only be fusiliers but don't need to be dealt with actually that's fine set anchor there Start loading into these guys. If I can get both my ships firing decent cannon shots, we could uh, we could move these guys back a lot quicker. Yeah, look, they're all going into the side. Not one of those shots has reached the target. Right, here we go, gentlemen. 55 Fusiliers need to have a couple of uh, looseners placed upon them. Keep an eye out for these guys coming back. Really and truly, it's the ships that are winning this for us. Okay, so we've taken the point. All of our men have got more ammo. The mortars are actually having to move in. Oh, we actually lost a unit there. The French. 
French uh, elite. We have the range, gentlemen. Let's let them loosen those chaps a smidge before we push in. Oh, this is nice. When they push in like that, we can actually get some proper cannon fire on them. So my ship should take care of those 25. It's going to take forever, though. Ready, ready, I was going to say, anytime you like. I would hope that the AI gets improved a little bit in time. I mean, it, it's working out for me at the moment because... No, I didn't... I didn't put myself in a position where I had enough... Oh, they didn't like that, did they? So the cannons have turned, and they're thinking about having a go. They're going to regret that real quick. Artillery, mortars rather. Looking pretty good. Ah, they routed one of our team. So they're still in the fight. They're not quite done yet. Always nice when the mortars get a good hit. Good lord, 41 of them still there, look. We weaken up this left side, then I'll start pushing in. Wow, they've routed, routed our next load as well. It's unexpected. Not appreciated. All right, let's get on some cannons, please, gentlemen. Take these cannons as well. bent on getting those cannons. Oh, 
Damn it, my marines have become cannon cannon marines. Not quite what we were after. Not sure how we've managed to do that, because we've got like 179 cannon marines. Oh, there we go. So that's good. We got the marines back. Have them up there, actually. Right, gentlemen. Why? Why do 175 of you? There should only be 50. Why are there 175 of you grabbing these guns? That is too many. Right. So we got cannons. That's what we wanted right from the start. Still got hundreds of men here, though. I mean, hundreds of men here. This is going to be very tricky. That's not good. I've got no, uh, I've got no army men to protect anything here. So it's only going to take one very small unit, and uh, they'll be able to take us out. Or well, somehow we've managed to get them to rout. That is surprising. Right. Start whacking these guys from the back then. What's going on here? Okay. Let's get in position. Wish we had more people. They're Spaniards. They're not French. Yeah, maybe I can get that artillery unit. That would be quite nice. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Make the lives of these fusiliers absolutely awful. You're being a position. I know, I know what he's actually saying. A joke. Actually, some cannons there we might be able to grab hold of. I think I need this ship to start shooting further back.
Marines, please aim at the artillery. Are we uh, are we on the shallows? Sort of. We kind of run aground, aren't we? Now we're into the into the wind. We can't move. We have to stay here. Unless I sort of turn hard out to sea, but I'm not even sure if that's going to work, to be honest. Hey guys, you've done a fantastic job. Let's finish off these artillery units. Oh, look, see, they're going back in. Mortars will give us some cover. Yeah. So stuck. Ow. Didn't just scratch my leg. So we're in a bit of a sticky situation here, what with the boat. Stuck. No. Are we actually doing any damage to anything here? Difficult to tell. Okay, well that's really not good. I think these fusiliers have gone. So, I mean, we don't really have enough men to do this job. It's going to be a very tricky, slow, systematic approach. Yep, they've gone for good. Where are the mortars? Oh, 
Ai, 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 ai. Some good cannons. I like that. Merge those guys into one massive unit. Now this should create a command, I think it's called. a bit clunky the way it works okay so it didn't quite work there we go now it works so now we got two a division sorry not a company so now we got 226 men in this division that'll make things a little easier this guy's running low on supply it's actually he started out with 50 so we still got tons left I'm not too bothered Cannons are actually being effective for a change. These are Fusiliers. Goodness me, if they get close enough to our men, they should, theoretically, start behaving themselves again. Can I maybe squeeze off the edge down that way? They're not having any luck, are they? Am I, am I stuck fast? I think I'm pretty much stuck fast. Right, mortars, how are we doing? Finally got this artillery team down to 18. Once I get rid of them, I can actually think about proper pushing in. Can I get any shots on these guys? Probably not. Okay, so I moved that supply way too far forward. 15, finally broke them. Right, two, one. Let's get everything on these cannons. Oh, is she going to move? That is dangerously close to our men. Come on, girl, get out. What about if I ask you to sail over there? Will you do that? Ship of the line. She's, I mean, she's proper stuck. keep trying we'll keep trying ah good the artillery is nearly gone good job mortars
I'm going to have to shut your guns off. Because you're actually putting us in danger. Right, let's make these unit number three and make these unit number four. Right, one, two, three... There's more of them. Am I pushing in too early? So far, so good. Still going to be slow, slow, slow progress. Come on, try and get that ship off the, uh, the side there, if you can. Take their artillery away and they're not so tough. Plus these guys must be running out of ammo. I don't know. They haven't really shot at as much, have they? They've just kind of stayed in one place. Taking a bit of damage. Now we could get in trouble here because we're close to where they are, and when they route, that's where they're going to route to. Whoa, who's firing there? Good start, gentlemen. Good start. Oh, it just took friendly fire. Stop firing at our men. Eight grenadiers coming back. Right, here we go. This is the big one. Right. 
We're up against superior numbers now. The mortars and the cannons only that can save us. See, look, these guys are right near us, which is very worrying. I wish I could split some of these guys out. Here we go. Well, we routed them. Good and proper. We're running out of ammo. They've been routed. Ah. Frustrating. Feel too many of them. Okay, if we come up here, they'll at least have ammo. That will definitely help. If I could just get this ship off the shore. definitely help things along. Oh, I'll turn the cannons off, haven't I? We're routing them, but that doesn't mean they've gone. This is the problem. They'll be back very shortly. Unless I can... Unless I can force some cannon fire on them. It'd be jolly nice, wouldn't it? The numbers are definitely more in our favour now. How have they not got ammo? Why does this say empty? Oh, they have no supply. Oh. Because they are bloody empty, that's why. Alright, let's speed this up. It's me, they're taking their time. But they're exhausted and out of ammo. That's totally my fault. Right, as soon as the supply goes back up, we'll go back up there. Really? The supply wagon can't get supplies? You are kidding me. Get supplies. That's ridiculous. So what you're telling me is I've got to send my men all the way down here to get supplies and then I've got to send them all the way back up there again. 
just stupid. That's so stupid. It's going to take forever. I have a supply wagon here. Let the supply wagon fill up with supply. Or is it happening just really slowly? It's looking pretty promising. Except for the whole stupid ammo. I think it is resupplying, but incredibly slowly. But they've got loads of supply, so that's not going to be a problem. What does this mean? Okay, so do these boys now have ammo? Good. Let's get them back to the front line. Do these guys have ammo? Yes, they have. Look how quickly they supply in comparison to the to the idiots. Wondering if that might be a better location for them. See, full supply, no problem. And I think the supply for this thing is going up, but so, so slowly. It's such a great game, this. I absolutely adore this game, but my God, have they got some things wrong. Right, once our cannons are back in position, we'll uh, we'll continue. I think that I think that is going down slowly, and that's going up slowly, very slowly. Right, finally this long, 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 boring, slow battle will be over. We should end up with quite a decent amount of cash by the end of it. Right, this should not be a problem right now. Oh my god, look at this. Do not let these Fusiliers come and rout the team. Wow, why is that going up so slowly? Ah, that's how you get cover. I, I'm thinking this must be part of the new beta. I, I don't know. Was that something else? No, because the cover is still zero, so that's not what that is. Just a position that they can hold. Ah, there we go. 
100% cover. I see. I get how it works. That's better. That's much better, actually. Much, much better. Why oh, this guy is not moving? Come on. Push up a little bit, please. They're engaging. It's good stuff. Let's get the remaining cannons on them. Fight on. Oh my gosh, if they try and rush us, they'll win. Because we always lose out to the enemy and they've got just the same numbers as us. Finally making some progress here. Do not want that ship to miss them and hit us. That's my only concern right now. You see how hard it is. I mean, I've got four cannons trained on these guys. Four cannons, plus a ship full of cannons, um, and mortars all dropping on top of these guys, and they're still there. They're still there. It is really tough to take out enemy opposition. They just don't die. They run away a lot, but they always come back. Well, we're actually taking some hits here. Almost there. Almost there. This has been a painful battle. I hope land battles in the future are better than this. I definitely needed a lot more men for this battle. I know for next time. Push up. There's only 93 left of our men, that is. We're out of ammo again. Uh oh. Let's 
Don't need them flanking us. How are we doing here? Well, they've got a bit of supply. I'm going to have to send them up. These guys are nearly out. This is it. I think we've got it. At last. Changing colour. We're finally on it. But look. Even these cheeky little gits are going to try and come in and flank us. It's not over yet. We've only got 88 men. 34 men could easily turn us. But now, now we've been flanked. Cannons do not seem to be hitting these guys. At last, the cannons have found them. Come on, boys, turn it, turn it into a victory. No, they, they've routed us momentarily. It's not over yet. It really isn't over yet. Only 32 guys, and they're being hit by cannons, but uh, no, they can still win this. They're a, a resilient bunch. Try bringing the cannons up. I need some ammo. That's a big problem. So big, we're going to have to fall back for a little bit till we get some bloody ammo. Come on, turn them. Twenty two guys here, look. was a very silly battle with very unrealistic AI behaviour, but we did the job with a very, very small number of men. We were very patient, very disciplined. Oh, come on, I told you not to shoot there. Yeah, we did it.
That is job done. I think that's the last enemy unit out of all the uh, all the areas. Grenadiers have shattered. There we go. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> we held Gibraltar, little Gibraltar. We lost Brian and we lost Hope, but Bork is going to get promoted, and we got a lot of stuff. Oh man, that was long and uh, hard work. Bloody hard work. How does the Flore need repairs? So, very impressed with the mortars. I think combined with some cannons, that could be very effective. 35,000 as a result. Now, is this part of the same? Oh, we've got an award, look. Distinguished Service Order. Brilliant. The Distinguished Service Order is a military decoration awarded to military commanders providing exceptional or mer merit meritorious service there's a word I don't use often meritorious service to his majesty's armed forces during times of war while under fire by the enemy fantastico and the lost souls right so we can send a couple of ships for that 84% chance of success we'll start that and then we're ready for the next stage what's this here siege of Toulon your last minute arrival ensured that little Gibraltar held and the harbour at Toulon, Toulon remained open. The evacuation was able to continue smoothly and thousands of souls escaped the wrath of the mob. Spectacular. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please join me again for the next one. Hopefully it'll be a little more engaging. And uh, I'll see you then. Take care. Goodbye for now.